What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we do, I want you to hit that like button. Definitely want you to subscribe, leave a comment. If you want to know where the next video is going to drop, hit that notification bell. What's up, YouTube? What's up? Yes, um, I'm sorry I didn't drop a video after the game, but I'm a Knicks fan, and it hurt. It hit me right here. It hit me right here. Um, I'm going to talk about three reasons why we lost this game, but the main reason is we need a new coach. And I'm going to start right off with that before I jump into everything else. Tom Thibodeau killed us that game. The decision-making was just back to the regular Tom Thibodeau. The lack of, I'm not going to say faith in his team, but he doesn't, what can I say about Tom Thibodeau? Tom Thibodeau doesn't I'm gonna be, inspire his team. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to come right out and just start it right, here, right into it. I hate the fact that this dude never challenged he never challenged. And you can watch a replay and you can see that we will win the challenge. He never challenged. And I feel that if he just wants to make a challenge, whether we, it, we get the challenge or not, it would give the team a sense of something because that's when the game changed. A lot of y'all won't un understand or probably didn't see it, but the whole momentum of the game changed on that call was Grimes on Kyle Lowry. We was up 10 points at the time. The Heat was making a run. They called a bullshit foul. And when they went to the replay, you can clearly see that it wasn't a foul. Tibbs did not challenge the play. Now, I could see if he was holding his challenges for he's going to do it down the line. But he don't do that. He don't hold a challenge for down the line. We finished the game with two timeouts. So, I don't understand. You, you have to do this. Even if you're going to lose a challenge, it's just to build to boost up your team. It kind of pushes the morale down. That's my opinion. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. All right, third, I mean second, <laughs> when this coach is keeping players in the game when they don't supposed to be in the game. R.J. Barrett, uh, he had a great half. Uh, that first half, he was shooting ball really well. He went six for, for seven in the first half of the game, five rebounds, four assists, 13 points. But that second half, he went four for 13, three turnovers. He had three assists. And he made a lot of bad decisions. Um, and that's on the coach. That's on the coach. Because you got to pull your, your – I don't know what he's telling them guys on the sideline, but it's not the right thing. Um, we got to get out of his isolation because when the isolation is not working, you have to have something else. And I think this is when you have to draw backdoor plays for cutting, cutting players and some plays for Mitchell Robinson. Like Mitchell Robinson admitted that he didn't play good, well, whatever you want to call it. Crap, that was his, his exact words. He played like shit. But this happens because he get lost in the game. Get the man involved more in the game. Get our bigs involved. Tibbs don't draw up no backdoor plays, no nothing. Um, the isolation is going to kill us. I know y'all heard about my prediction. And like I said, I had to take a day off and reflect on what happened. And I still think the Knicks can win this in five. Yep, you heard what I said. We can win this in five. But the coach got to come back and make some adjustments. Um, for one, if Quickly's not having a good game, then I think it's time for McBride to come out there. I think because we all know what McBride can do on defense. When McBride was playing in the G League, his average is something close to 30 points. He just needs the opportunity and a chance. Obi Toppin got his first start, um, 18 points. And he shot 4 for 11 from downtown. And... I think it's because he get the ball in where opportune uh, moments like you know Brunson and Barrett and Barry, you, I called you Star Barrett, but Barrett, you're not that dude. I know you want to go to the hole, but you you're not that you're not consistent enough to take shots the way you're taking them. And this game too is too important for you to think that you're gonna just go down there and and I mean if you're gonna try to bold over people, at least get a quicker release. Start looking at people on the outlet pass, and the Knicks got to start making these threes because we shot terrible from downtown. We shot 7 for 34 from downtown. 7 for 34. And we're not going to win anything like that. And supposed to have seen it. If we don't run any back doors, we don't run any plays for the bigs, we're done. Um, the Heat going to take this. And, ah, uh, damn. The Heat going to take this game. If the Heat take this game two tonight, it's done. It's done. The coach got to come out and make some type of adjustments. Uh, Randall, we all know he's questionable, but there's now 
you know, whispers of Jalen Brunson not being available for the game. Um, I heard that Jimmy Bun, excuse me, Jimmy Butler is is day to day. I guarantee you Jimmy Butler's play. I could see Brunson not playing more than Butler playing. Um, there was a time that I don't understand. Like Butler was hurt. You didn't ran nothing out. You let Butler rest. Tibbs, you let him rest. Draw up no plays that whoever would, he was guarding to put him in a position where he had to run. He didn't do nothing, Tibbs. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know, man. Y'all know my prediction. If y'all seen my videos, y'all know what I predicted, but I'm lost. And that's why I didn't make a video. I didn't make a video of the game after. I will be making a video after this game. But if Tibbs don't make the right adjustments, if RJ Barrett don't pass the ball when he needs to pass the ball, if Jalen Brunson, I'm going to be honest, Jalen Brunson, this is what I like about Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson scored 25 points. RJ Barrett had 26 points. But Jalen Brunson played the right. I'm just going to be honest. He had some crucial turnovers, but he do his job. It's the isolation that's killing the New York Knicks. And if we don't get out of the isolation and start running more motion or something, we're done. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this, and I know a lot of people are going to just say, what? That's crazy. I don't care what happened. I don't care if we win the NBA championship. Tibbs got to go. Tibbs got to go. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. And with that being said, I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.